costumes. For me, Halloween is the best holiday in the world. It even beats Christmas. I get to dress up in a costume. I get to wear a mask. I get to go around like every other kid with a mask and nobody thinks I look weird. Nobody takes a second look. Nobody notices me. Nobody knows me. I wish every day could be Halloween. We could all wear masks all the time. Then we could walk around and get to know each other before we got to see what we looked like under the masks. When I was little, I used to wear an astronaut helmet everywhere I went. To the playground, to the supermarket, to pick Fia up from school. Even in the middle of the summer. Though it was so hot, my face would sweat. I think I wore it for a couple of years, but I had to stop wearing it when I had my eye surgery. I was about seven, I think. And then we couldn't find the helmet after that. Mum looked everywhere for it. She figured that, that it had probably ended up in Grand's attic and that she kept meaning to look for it, but by then I had gotten used to not wearing it. I have pictures of me in all my Halloween costumes. My first Halloween, I was a pumpkin. My second, I was Tigger. My third, I was Peter Pan. My dad dressed up as Captain Hook. My fourth, I was Captain Hook. My dad dressed up as Peter Pan. My fifth, I was an astronaut. My sixth, I was Obi-Wan Kenobi. My seventh, I was a clone trooper. My eighth, I was Darth Vader. My ninth, I was the bleeding scream. The one that has fake blood oozing out all over the skull mask. This year, I'm going to be Boba Fett. Not Boba Fett the kid in Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, but Boba Fett the man from Star Wars Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. Mom searched everywhere for the costume, but couldn't find one in my size, so she bought me a Django Fett costume. Since Django was Boba's dad and wore the same armour, and then painted the armour green, she did some other stuff to make it look worn too. Anyway, it looks totally real. Mom's good at costumes. In Homeroom, we all talked about what we were going to be for Halloween. Charlotte was going as Hermione from Harry Potter. Jack was going as Wolfman. I heard that Julian was going as Django Fett, which was a weird coincidence. I don't think he liked hearing that I was going as Boba Fett. On the morning of Halloween, Via had this big crying meltdown about something. Via's always been so calm and cool, but this year she's had a couple of these kind of fits. Dad was late for work and was like, Via, let's go, let's go. Usually Dad is super patient about things, but not when it comes to his being late for work and his yelling to stress Fia out even more and she started crying louder. So Mum told Dad to take Neve to school and that she'd deal with Fia. Then Mum kissed me goodbye quickly before I even put on my costume and disappeared into Fia's room. Oggy, let's go now, said Dad. I have a meeting I can't be late for. I haven't put my costume on yet. So put it on already. Five minutes, I'll meet you outside. I rushed to my room and started to put on the Boba Fett costume, but all of a sudden I didn't feel like wearing it. I'm not sure why. Maybe because it had all these belts that needed to be tightened and I needed someone's help to put it on. Or maybe it was because it still smelled a little like paint. All I knew was that it was a lot of work to put the costume on and Dad was waiting and would get super impatient if I made him late. So, at the last minute, I threw on the bleeding screen costume from last year. It was such an easy costume, just a long black robe and a big white mask. I yelled goodbye from the door on my way out, but Mom didn't even hear me. I thought you were going as Django Fett, said Dad when I got outside. Boba Fett. Whatever, said Dad. This is a better costume anyway. Yeah, it's cool, I answered.